Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. We are back once again in the Darkroot Garden. And lucky enough for us, I think we're actually going to be much better off in this episode than we were in the last one. Of course, as many of you may remember, our... is... is... Daniel's like doing research on a piece of, uh... Scrap right now, so let's actually get that thing out of there and get a chair moved in its place because that's not the stool, right? Yeah, that's definitely not the stool. I don't even think we have the stool marked to be placed, which is Big load of butts. I wanted to put it there. Maybe it can't be built because that uh, rock chunk is there and I forgot for that Um, but of course as many of you may remember our main problem in the last video was food Food without a doubt, and um, that's because I did a very, very bad job of managing how many um, of those like uh, packaged survival meals were, were still on the map, mixed with um, a little bit of a fault on my part of not recognizing that we're not on the same map that we were before. So of course, the abundance of uh, like berry bushes is going to be a hell of a lot less because the the last one that we were on. Really wish I could remember what that place was called, but of course that one, um, it j was just, like, covered with berry bushes while the, all, all the other maps, um, aren't exactly limited. Of course the deserts would be, um, and the desert map probably is, even though I, have, I still haven't had a chance to check out that one, um, so I don't know for sure, but I, I, I would, it only makes sense that there would be a lot more berry bushes there. And our people almost got killed by this jerkwad monkey. That's another thing that happened. I hated that guy. He was a jerk. We finally got Tucky! We finally got Tucky! Which means we have now the legendary, glorious, almighty warrior, Droid, on our side. Uh, oh, wait. Or apparently a bunch of uh, slashes. Yeah, that's gonna be a good name. My name is Slash 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 Slash. But anyways, we've got Droid on our side now. Um, of course, this is recommended or, or requested by Droid Commander McNulty. So, uh, that's our newest, uh, newest addition to the colony and super cool to have. Now we actually have three people who can fire fires, which isn't going to be incredibly important, but that's always a nice thing to have, especially in a grassy area. And actually, I thought the last map was going to be the most dangerous for fires, but this one actually might be with all that very, really thick grass out there. So, um, of course, patience can be won as always. I'm still not 100% sure, um... Yeah, patients go to medical bed if they need to receive treatment. Okay, then I then I actually do know exactly how patient works. That's so weird that there's actually just a category for when is this person going to go to try to receive treatment. I find that kind of funny. Um, then hunting can be a two as well. Uh, I believe actually, let's double check with uh, Droid because I think Droid actually had a passion for shooting. Yeah! And of course, Droid is the one with that armored vest, so I think Droid is actually going to become our main shot uh, from now on. Which is a little bit unfortunate, Droid only had the Molotov cocktails, so I think we're going to um, go ahead and give those cocktails to someone else if we can find them. I apparently don't remember where they were. Who is our worst shot on the co- oh god. I think it's probably going to be, without a doubt, Baluno. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor man. Alright, so what that means is he's going to drop his pistol and we're 100% 100 going to give that to Droid. Because there's twofold reason for us to want... Let, let's actually... I'm going to try to uh, uh, pause time less because I have gotten requests to uh, stop doing that. Um, and I'll, I'll get to talking about that in a bit. Uh, because I do think I do have a good reason for why I pause, uh, albeit a little bit silly. Um... This is unfortunate for Siggy, because Siggy's going to have a bed in here again. It, it it sucks that he's in the dark and with this loud, noisy geothermal generator, but it'll be better than having a than sharing a room, I imagine, because that negative for sharing a room is pretty massive. I don't have yeah, I thought I didn't have another bed there. I don't know why, but it really looked like I did. But um, is that no? That's not a medical bed. That's just a regular one bed. Oh, what was I talking about before I went on, like, 25 million tangents? Um... Well, you know what? Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just go to the one that I was talking about. I apologize for anyone who who's like, Oh, you paused too much in this game. Yo, you should stop that. Um... 
And uh, of course, I want to do my best to provide you guys the kind of content that you want to watch. The reason why I do pause a lot is because I want to try to, um... Of course, you know, this is a strategy a strategy game, and I want to use my time management to my best abilities. We could totally have time go uh, times three there. I don't know why I was just leaving it at one. I, I want to use my time management to my best abilities, but sometimes it's, uh, it's really difficult to kind of, like, uh, focus on my thoughts and, and uh, get my thoughts, like, uh, describe my thoughts to you guys and stuff like that while also playing uh, with the game at full speed. Um, just to make sure that I get everything accomplished that I want to be accomplished. So let's actually go ahead and harvest a bunch of these plants right here. Um, because we actually have no food left and these things are still at like 80%. I thought they were much farther than that. Oh my god. Well, at least we have all the seeds grown. So by the end of the day, these ones should be ready for harvest and a lot of the others should actually be, uh... Mm. Uh, beginning to be harvest. Um, invent visiting the colony. Okay, that doesn't matter. I hate visitors. <laughs> As you guys know. They just come by and, like, be a big old nuisance. They're just like, hey, I'm here to visit. Hope you, uh, don't get incredibly uh, irritated by my random hijinks. Just go come invade your space, be a big old jerkwad about things. But anyways, um, one thing that we definitely need to do- Ah, we actually got the stool built. Nice. So that was already, uh, planned and, like, set up. Oh, that's right. I was not going to build any medical beds until we actually get the medical bed research finished, or hospital bed research finished. So I was about to go ahead and put down three beds up here and get to work on that, but that's something that I don't think we need to focus on quite yet. Um, which then, interestingly enough, mechanoids, mechanoids, this early, what? Uh, well, he's got a heavy charge blaster. I think we just lost. <laughs> What are you doing to me, game? I've got- This is my base! I'm not playing on Randy Random here! What is the game doing? Holy cow! Okay, um... Well, we'll try our best. Is he able to fire- He's able to fire upon us from up there. My god. None of our dudes have that kind of fire range. We just lost. We just lost big time. Let's get him as close to the base as we possibly can. Then we're going to try to take down this big old buddy. That means Baluno is gonna, like, challenge him to a fisticuff stool. Didn't we get someone who actually had a sword? Oh, I wish I focused more on picking that thing up. Because, obviously, a sword would be much better than, uh, going at this mechanic beast. Uh, with just our fists. At least on Baluno. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, guys. We're gonna try our best to beat this thing. Um, but I'm kind of getting a feeling what's going to happen is we are going to, um... Going to, uh, resort to save states before too long. But we can try to, uh, try to... Try to... Try to cheat the system! Oh, droid, we can't lose you! You just joined the colony, buddy! Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, like, fire, go to cover... Don't mess with me, you beast. Kill the beast! Oh, wonderful. Now a local cobra has gone mad. What is the game doing? What is the game doing to us right now? This is not fair. This is totally not fair. That's so weird. I, I don't know what's happening. Whatever. We're, we're, we're just gonna laugh this off and hopefully destroy this evil monstrosity. So now he's taking damage, so get indoors. Hurry. No! Okay, we're all okay. Let, you know what? Here, let's actually kind of try to handle it from here. This might be a smart way to do it. Oh, but they're taking forever to go through the hallway. Never mind. Back up. Daniel, get out, get out. Oh my god, okay. So where's that cobra? That's what I would like to know. Because I don't want him, like, ganking us and trying to eat our faces off. So, here, we can actually, can we leave doors locked open? 
Oh, that, that, that's something that I would like. I mean, that isn't a mechanical door, so it wouldn't really make sense that you could do that. If we can actually kill this thing, I would be so happy. Okay, there's the Cobra. Honestly, it actually looks like it might be going on the mechanoid, so that would be nice to distract that thing for a while. Is it attacking a tree? What's that thing? Uh, it's standing. It's probably just standing there because it's terrified of the mechanoid. No! Okay, at least the mechanoid is attacking it. It doesn't matter if it's attacking us or not, as long as the mechanoid's attacking it. You know what? We're going to undraft all of our people. Um, they are not going to go up there. That's bad. That's bad people. I want you to either, like, get rest or do something good. Oh, God, Bluno, where are you doing, buddy? Uh, you need to go in there quick. I actually did not want you to go, Siggy. Siggy, keep up- oh my god, okay, now everyone's resting. Siggy's gonna die! Okay, never mind. This is the worst situation ever! Our people are gonna go insane before too long because, uh, they're not getting food and or rest. Okay, fire upon him. Oh my god, okay, now he's indoors. Let's move up here and shoot him from that angle. Okay, now get to safety! Coolio, um... Now let, let's wait for him to, like, put down his aim. Okay, good. Now back to that position. How much... Like, what is this guy's health situation? His sight is okay, his hearing is okay. I don't think... He's only weakened. He's nowhere near death. I'm, I'm pretty sure we just lost, you know? But we're gonna keep on trying. Be oh, I apologize updated. for that Avast notification. Apparently it wants to, uh... Harass me, be like, hey, you got a notification, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, were you recording the video right now? I'm sorry to interrupt, uh. Oh, oh, he's not doing anything! No, now he's doing something. I probably should let everyone take one more shot before leaving, but, you know, our whole base is going to become a fiery inferno and burn down. So hopefully the game will actually give me some kindness before too long and actually, uh, let it rain. Really, I, I... This is, this is like the third video with this colony, and we didn't just get a mechanoid, but we got frickin' centipede. Oh my god, he's actually been killed. Okay! <laughs> oh lord, I kind of don't believe it. Okay, so who- Bluno needs to be made a doctor as well. Bluno- it, no, no, no. Siggy isn't wounded, and Siggy is also- a, well, Siggy's actually wounded right now, but I don't think it's any- Yeah, it's just a burn. Burns don't really- well, actually, his movement is weakened, but I'm pretty sure that burn shouldn't cause any, uh, long-lasting issues. Let's get to healing Daniel, and then we're going to feed him as well, because I believe everyone should be in desperate need of food. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Siggy- do your magic, my good friend. Good, good. Daniel's actually gonna feed himself, of course, because he's a man. He doesn't need, he doesn't need no, he doesn't need anyone to help him. Thank you, Daniel, for going ahead and getting back to uh, the food and stuff like that. I believe Daniel is the, our other doctor. Yeah, he has to be because Droid just joined the colony. So good work, Droid. Healing people up. I don't know what. Uh, let's. We should actually definitely check Daniel and. Um, oh God. Uh, uh, eh, but blood filtration. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that, apparently. That's pretty poor, but hopefully we'll be able to heal that since none of those have become permanent. Movement is also weakened. I actually should check how old is De uh, Droid. I'm interested in that. 42, okay, that could certainly be a hell of a lot worse. And then Daniel. Oh, Daniel's actually pretty much uh, fully revived, and I imagine Siki should have as well. Yes, cool beans. God, why did he have to have a charge rifle? That's what makes the centipede the most annoying. Or a charge blaster. I hate that you can't use charge blasters for yourself because... Really, it just made that whole fight a big ol... It's like the last colony we had, you know? Where we just had tribes people after tribes people after tribes people and stuff like that. Where it's annoying, really frustrating, uh, damaging fights that in the end really give us very little to no benefit. That's exactly what this was here. If, if, if it was a centipede with a minigun, then at least we would have come out with a minigun. With this, but with this guy, we come out with nothing. I mean, I guess we, we come out with extra shooting experience in regards to all of our people. I actually didn't even have Bluno melee fight him, so I should just have Bluno doing other stuff in the background of the colony. <laughs> 
But you know what? It, it, in hindsight, it really no, nothing really changed much from that, so I think it's okay. We we need to examine the map for that uh, sword because I oh there's the cute little turtle again. Hey turtle, hey turtle. I'm gonna nickname him Donatello since he's my favorite uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle. Maybe he'll do machines! Maybe he'll actually evolve and join our colony and become, uh, the greatest of all people. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I have no idea where that sword was. Did any of you actually do remember from the last video, like, in, in regards to, like, where our base is, where that sword was located? I would really, really appreciate a heads up on that, because I, I, I really need to find that thing, because Bluno needs to be equipped with something. We could give him the Molotov cocktails, and honestly, I think we actually probably should for the time being, because it's one of those things where it's better than nothing. Um, so, uh, but, but honestly, I, I don't like using Molotov kale, uh, cocktail, Molotov cocktails. God, I don't know what is wrong with me. We do have a solar eclipse. Honestly, it doesn't really matter all that much. We should probably get back to some mining processes. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and mine out this mineral pocket. I think that'll be a pretty good one to uh, go ahead and start gathering resources from. We could also do this one right here, but you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll want to mine out both of them eventually, no matter what. We'll, we'll want, uh, basically to go ahead and ex continue expanding our rooms, because we actually probably do, sooner rather than later, probably need to start closing off our rooms. Maybe we should go for this geothermal generator first, then. Hmm. Or steam geyser to build a geothermal generator. I don't know! All the options are so close and so cool. Siggy is tired. Uh, do we not have enough colonist beds? We need to call in this bets. I thought I made an extra- Oh, one just burnt down, didn't it? Yep, that one was lost in the fire. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and rebuild that bed then for sure. We'll make it out of wood. Um, I hope I made the others out of wood. I, I think I did, but I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I did, because wood is right there on the floor. And then let's uh, put down one... Uh... The Siggy and Bluna will just have to share a bed for the time being. That'll be perfectly fine. Siggy, my good sir, please go ahead and get some rest after this. You definitely, definitely deserve it after that whole big fight that just happened down there. Daniel is doing a pretty good job of getting our research done. Uh, how leveled up is Daniel, actually? Ah, level 8! Um, I would have hoped for a little bit better, but that's pretty good. Colonist needs treatment! What happened to Bluno? Did he, like, sprain his ankle? <gasps> oh no! We've got sickness! Daniel and Bluno have malaria! Make sure that Bluno gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible in order to recover quickly. Okay, that's probably really bad that Siki is sharing the same bedroom now. Um... Oh man, oh man, this is... This is... Bizarre. We only have six medical things left, and they were our two doc- No, Siggy's a doctor, okay. Um, I hate to wake Siggy up, but I would rather heal our people as soon as possible so we don't have to deal with illnesses. So let's actually go ahead and, um, I'm really, really sorry, Siggy. You'll be able to get all the sleep in the world as far as I care once you accomplish that. So there we go. Let's, uh, malaria, uh, it's minor, so hopefully the medicine will actually kick in before too long. Um, and how is it st okay, malaria for whole body for him as well. Okay. I'm hoping they'll be able to pull through. Uh, can I, like, tell them to stay in bed? Because the thing was saying it's important for them to stay in bed. Well, no. <laughs> Doesn't look like that's gonna be a possibility then. Wh whatever, okay. So we'll just go ahead and kind of keep a good eye on that then, I would imagine. And you know what? Let's actually get Siggy. One once Siggy wakes up, we'll go ahead and designate Siggy to a, a new uh, place to sleep. I would like to kind of quarantine the sick, but I don't necessarily know if that's going to be all that... If we're really going to be capable of doing that for the time being. We actually could totally do that for Daniel. 
Um, arrived in pods dropped nearby. They were attacking immediately. Okay, well, if we are going to quarantine, guys, we're not going to do it now because we definitely need to focus on this fight. So let's go ahead and set that for an owner. We're going to go ahead and make Daniel the owner of that one again. And then, um... You know what? Let's actually leave that room for Siggy and get rid of it for Bluno. So that means now Bluno's going to sleep in here, and then we could kind of, um... Th then we could actually lock them in. I don't know, Malaria probably isn't the most important one to kind of lock people into a room. Um... But, uh, you know, it's, uh, we, we could still definitely consider kind of quarantining them to be sure. So where did those guys land down? I always, I, I, I hate it when I make the mistake of forgetting to actually, um, click to, like, go to their location or whatever. So let's actually go ahead, draft everyone, bring them all indoors. Bluno does have his Molotov cocktails now, so that's going to be good for us. Where are these jerkwads? I want to take them down with all- Oh, okay, there they are. We, yeah, we definite- Wow! Is that a- A charge rifle! Okay, well, I can't complain too much, because what that means is, of course, we're going to be getting it. But has- Is it just me? Or has the difficulty scaling in this round been a little bit cruel? <laughs> like- I feel like the game thinks we're a lot farther ahead right now than I would say we are, but, you know, um, I'm not the AI, so I guess I can't complain or judge. Uh, okay, where are these guys going? They're kind of taking a, what I would call a little bit of a roundabout way, so let's move everyone right there. We've got, uh, Dave, who's the one with the sword, so I, okay, okay. Phillips is the farthest back, which makes me really happy for sure. I would love to- Oh my god, that dude looks like he's almost dead. He's dead! Okay. So, um, they appear to be attacking the base first. Let's move up. If we could kill the sword person- Did that sword person just explode? Uh, okay, I don't know why the guy with the sword exploded. But you know what? Let's- we- I would really love to get this charge rifle, so let's try to catch up as fast as we can. Ah, uh, that person's so gonna get away. What if I have Daniel continue shooting? No, no. We'll, we'll have Daniel continue shooting. Everyone else will be undrafted. Up, oh, it's even out of range for Daniel. Phillips is going to get away. That's a little bit unfortunate, but you know, we're going to be able to put out those fires before they cause any serious damage. And then, wow, that eclipse like ended really quick. Must have been daytime when the, uh, when it like moved. Why did this guy explode? I don't understand why this guy exploded. Unless, like, there was a short circuit in the conduit, but didn't, didn't say anything about that. He just had a short sword. Was he, like, lined with explosives or something? Maybe it's that, uh, synth red pants. Maybe they're highly explosive in some situations. Obviously, I don't think that's true. Guy's passing by. It's Redfields, of course. He wants to invade our lives once again. Bluno is now going to be equipped with a sword, so that's going to make me very, very happy. Let's actually go ahead and make a small... Ah, uh, well, actually, I don't know if there's a point to make a stockpile zone for weapons for the time being. Those can all be, uh, set up. We are actually going to make two graves right off the bat, because I definitely want to, uh, make sure that we get those bodies out of there. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that kind of thing. So let's just put one there and one there. Um... I really should set up that communications room before too long. Only problem is, I don't know if there's a really viable place for it. Unless... You know what? I think we're gonna do a change of plans. I think we're actually going to put the com- the, like, uh stockpile zone where we have like our communicate uh, where we have the beacon i think we're actually going to move that to to being right here and then we're going to have our entrance like higher up than that i think that would be a really good setup because th this is a really fine good area for us to put the stockpile zone because there's a lot of trees and stuff like that for us to harvest so we could also make that the area where we harvest all of our wood in the futures because they'll be inside our base which would be a very very good spot for that so um so yeah actually i think we might want to get to work on that right now so let's go wow the orbital space beacon has, like, really been shrunk down. That's not just me, right? 
Like, its radius is a lot smaller than it was before. M maybe I'm wrong. I may just be wrong. But it, it looks like it's a lot smaller to me, which is kind of interesting. Um, okay, so we're gonna put that right there. Which also means that, um... No, not doors. Oh, okay, it's because I had to select uh, metal. So that's gonna go all the way up there. Um, how much... I always forget how much space and, like, height those things cover. I really should just memorize it. That would be a nicer way to handle this. So if that goes all the way up there... Ooh, it's almost perfectly... Li Actually, it is pretty much perfectly lined up. I think I just put down metal walls, not metal conduit walls, so I'll have to replace that. That means, of course, some of our farmland is going to be kind of, uh gone like wrecked for the time being but you know it's not all that important so let's get rid of that replace it with metal conduit wall in case it wasn't uh just to be sure um and then we are going to put down a metal door right there and one um probably uh actually let's yeah let's line it up with that wall so one right there as well and then that's going to be really good for that that means we'll need to trade set up our trade room before too long as well it might make a good amount of sense to actually put it right there um no no that needs to be hydro hydroponics because it's right next to uh the nutrient paste dispenser and has a pretty fair amount of room there and uh, that's five blocks right there, but I think that's gonna be four blocks. Yeah, that's four blocks of space on the top route, so it'll look nice as well. So that'll be good for that. Um, what actually did I make this? What was this like the chunk? No, that's food? Really? Yeah. That's weird. I don't know why I would have that stockpile zone there. Um, that's just bizarre. But anyways, uh, so of course now things are going pretty good for us. Before we bury the bodies, uh, Bluno was wounded? That sucks. No, it's just still malaria. So, okay, so they're just resting for their malaria. Minor untreated. I treated you. Immuni immunity development progress 64%. Okay, that's nice. I didn't know we could see that. 50%. Okay, so that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I don't really want to use any more medicine. We've only got four. That is that is uh showing how important game that trade room is going to be. So, um hmm. I think we can also go ahead and I uh is this gonna be Let, let's just make that a metal wall. Um, did I make it a metal conduit wall? I always forget. Let me see. That That's 120, and these ones are cheaper, correct? So that's 190. Okay. Okay, yeah. So that's a good way to know which one I made. So let's make that wall right there. Um, I guess we'll also put down the door. Um, that one doesn't need to be a metal door, though. Let's just make that one a wooden door. Um... I, the only reason why I put a door there is because we need to expand our way to that steam geyser. And I think we are actually going to go ahead and forget about this one for the time being. We need to replace that door down there. So let's go ahead and um, uh, place down a new door. Um, this can be the communications room because, you know, it's it's a small room that's already set up and ready to go. So, uh, wall going up right there, wall going right there. Those ones don't need doors. In fact, I think we should probably actually go ahead and consider canceling all the doors I have built down here and maybe even selling them, the ones that I have built for the time being. Uh, you know what, actually, we'll save those two. We'll save those two, because I think function in regards to functionality, those will be nice to have for the time being. In the meantime, otherwise, we'll make... No! <laughs> we'll make a metal wall right there uh, to replace that, and then also a metal wall right there, of course. So, I think that's gonna be a good setup for us. Um, With that built, we can also go ahead and get that uh communications console set up uh, ASAP. So let's put that right there. Uh, no, let's, let's put it up there. That'll be a nice way so it'll be, like, lined up with the door and look nice in that regards. So then we could bed it, put a bed down in that bottom corner so our people have more, um, places to sleep and rest and all that. Uh, or there's more individualized rooms for our people. Only needs two lamps, as we've decided. Two lamps for most rooms. We need a new lamp for that one down there for the prisoner room. And I think that's gonna be good. 
I think that's gonna be a good setup for us for the time being. Like I said, we are not going to be dealing with the medicine at all. It's very unfortunate. It makes me feel very, very bad about that because I would love to uh, continue working on healing uh, Daniel and Bluno and try to help them through their illness. But I, I, I think they're going to be able to pass through this one perfectly okay uh, on their own. At least I really, really hope so. Um, uh, and I, I, I think it's a matter where we just need to um, hold on to the rest of our, our medicine because because now we only have two! Did someone treat them? <laughs> someone must have treated them! Does it say it's been treated now? Yes, it does! Or it doesn't say it hasn't... It doesn't say untreated, so I have to imagine it has been. Ah! Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I think we need to turn off our doctors for the time being then, because... I don't want anyone treating any illnesses! Not when we only have two medicine! That is really, really scary! Honestly, that puts us in a really scary position! <sighs> okay, we've got carp- I, I said I was going to work on hospital beds next, but I should just double check everything, make sure that that's the best option. Could get the picks, but I would definitely think hospital beds would be best to work on first. Crematorium is also nice, but hospital beds are probably very, very important. Allows colonists to construct hospital beds, which increase... Ah, yeah, that is so important if we're increasing chance of successful medical work. Um, those bodies have not been put away yet, but that's actually kind of a good thing. Droid definitely shouldn't need any gear because, yeah, he's the one who's, like, fully set and all that. So, um... Uh, who's the other person with a pistol? Because, ah, Siggy! I think the, I think the people with our pistols are the ones who should be the best equipped right now in regards to, um, like, clothing gear. Was this guy wearing any clothes? I don't remember if he was wearing any clothes. It says we could strip him. Yes, indeed, he was. So, Siggy, uh, I think everyone should be wearing what that dude was wearing, but let's go ahead and give Siggy the armored vest. You could go ahead and wear a nice new jacket, and that's just some silver that was dropped. Okay. Then, Siggy, since you're right there, please go ahead and haul those two bodies, just so we don't have to worry about any of those shenanigans anymore. Is there... No, there's not a wall being built there! Uh, must not... If, if you're, like, selling or, or, yeah, selling something where a wall is being placed, I guess it doesn't really get, like, registered in, in the game or anything like that. Colonist still needs treatment. It's going to be Baluno, I imagine, because of his malaria. Yes, yes, still malaria. He is not going to be treated, though. You could go ahead and get some rest, and that'll make me very, very happy for you. But you're not getting treated anymore. You got treated twice, and we've only got two, two more medicine. We need those for, um... We really, really need those for, um, other thing for, for in the case that someone gets really injured, um, in combat. So, now that we have this thing set up, let's actually go ahead and talk to, uh, uh, writers. I, I think those are all the people, because we should have five factions. Yeah, we have five factions set up, so that means nobody's here for trade. Doesn't matter too much, because we definitely need to actually, um go ahead and uh, actually like set up the the stockpile zone we actually don't even have the trade beacon built yet which does make a lot of sense let's get our hydroponics tables built um we should only need four right now but i'm gonna go ahead and go for let's even build eight you know what that that, that way we're going to get a lot of food so we'll be able to sell it in the future and honestly i really want to sell as much as we can as fast as we can for at least a long while because um we we really need to uh we really need money i mean we do have a lot of money we just don't have any in the stockpile zone that's going to work for the orbital that's going to be connected to the orbital trade beacon quite yet so who knows we we might have enough money right now to buy a lot of medicine but just just to like keep in mind for the future i'm gonna keep on doing things uh 
the way that we're setting him up right now. And let's actually go ahead and set, set up a stockpile zone. I'm only going to set it up that big right now because we are actually at the end of the episode. And hopefully I'll remember to actually go ahead and change everything that needs to go into that thing at the start of the next one. So anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.